Hey everybody, it's Dry. How you doing? You all doing well? I hope you all doing well. Pretty, pretty well. So let's... I'm going to do some Animal Crossing videos for you boys and girls. Because... You guys didn't get a lot of Animal Crossing content. Thank... Thanks for the ticket, LaBelle. Don't worry, I'll use it. Give me my shit. I'll have to write Freya a letter. I got worried all of a sudden about whether you were sleeping well and when it comes to looking your best sleep. Sleep is terribly important. So I'm sending you a REM-friendly deep sleep Prezi. Thanks. Thanks for him. That 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 means a lot. There goes my slingshot. Time to buy a new one. So I'm gonna go around the island, just collect shit, just do whatever I need to do. I will have the fashion show, just... I need a few. To think about what I need to do. No. Oh. Thanks, boys. Thanks, Timmy. Thanks, Tommy. I appreciate everything you guys do. No, seriously, I really, really do. Um, I was just thinking about something, if I sound a little watery. I was thinking of, um, again, I was making the story thing. Uh, this world world building experience. Because, again, I like, um... Stories. I've gotten a lot, a lot more invested ever since watching stuff like One Piece, whatever, or not else. It, yes, we know my brother's Joy Cons are fucked. We, we know this. But do I care? No. Well, that's right. I need to open my gifts. I got a retro radiator. The cap. Time to put my shit in my storage. Could you not walk by yourself? Come on. Come on, Animal Crossing characters, survive. We got work to do. I got so much work to do for other games, too. So much work. Then I might just do two recording sessions. So that's how much work I'm going to put in today. Well, yeah, again, I was thinking about my story. Uh, 
Will I publish it? I don't know. It, it's probably going to take a shit ton of chapters. Uh, so I really don't know. But I've been trying to help a friend out with her books. because I And she was so psyched when I told her. Yeah, I secretly like literature. I have a different creative mind when it comes to stories. I guess this is some sort of way for me to act out my feelings. Stuff like that. I just think of goofy shit like... I know, there's... It shows there's gotta be tropes. But if you do them beautifully and craft them really well and give meaning to stories and you know, still have goofy moments, but have those heartfelt, those emotion-filled moments. And if you can make someone feel a huge array of emotions in something, then you've done your job. Because if you only make someone feel one emotion, then you've not tried hard enough. Um... When I think of doing LPs like this, I know. Less is more. Now, why would I think less is more? Why would I make these videos all crappy on purpose? Well, I want you to sit down and I want you to think. Nowadays, everyone's just overproduced. Thanos Gaming, Smosh. It's just overproduced. And I'm thinking, oh man, these guys really gotta be tired and tuckered out if they gotta fucking do all this shit every week. Not me. I generally just talk, do some videos. I mean, yeah, I gotta take care of myself, which I have a horrible habit of not doing. Which I need to take care of myself. So yeah, I do need to take care of myself. That's it. That's one thing. Um, again, throughout when I'm making Let's Plays, I don't try to make them too many. But this past two years, I have been doing a lot of the same games since the past two years. Animal Crossing. I'm still playing Tetris. And I've done that since, what, October? September? Almost been a full year of just doing nothing but Tetris. Almost every day. But that's why I do this stuff almost every day. Because if I do it every day, it's it's just, it's going to grind me out, boys. Uh, Ninjala's been having the same effect with me, too. Like, I can't play it every single day or else I'll fucking lose it. But I'm trying. I'm trying here. Because you guys love it, but it takes a toll on a person. Um, let me give you an example. Now, why do you think people like Markiplier and all the other streamers play different games after a long while? Like, even like Ninja at one point did this too. Why do you think they do it? I'll answer you. Because there's only so so much a person can do before they they tap out. And for me, I'm known to do really quick let's plays. I'm known to finish let's plays within 3 days and move on to the next. But I've been very careful because I want to give time for these Let's Plays to breathe. And you've guys probably seen the pattern too. Where I've just been doing nothing but Ninjala. But what I'm saying is once Ninjala and all those series are over. You're probably going to see a pattern where I'm just playing probably one singular game. Or if it gets that bad to a point. I might switch it up. And increase it to two. 
Because sometimes, some games are so fucking quick that I have to literally somehow extend the longevity of content. Yes, I know, I fucking forgot to do more bros versus. I will do more bros versus, okay? I promise all of you this. I will do more bros versus. I promise. It's just... I've been trying to focus on making more Let's Plays that I haven't done Bros Versus in a while, and I'm sorry for leaving people in the dark of not being able to see amazing Bros Versus content. We will find a day to do it. Not just not today. Not today. If, again, if I can get a little bit more Let's Plays done, I might be able to settle down and do Bros Versus. Or one day I can just set aside doing all these let's plays and just do bros versus I've been trying boys trying I'll, I'll talk in the next video peace